Today I'm listening to Dimash sing Kara Jim I. Keep watching. Hi everybody, it's Christy Bovey with The Voice Love Company. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the little bell below so you don't miss a single video or when I go live. Take an online lesson with me. Click on the link below and I'll see you at your next private voice lesson. Now let's get started. So I've had quite a few of you tell me that you really would love for me to react to Dimash's song, Kara Jim I. This is definitely not his first time to record this one, but it is the most recent. Many of you have helped me understand that he dedicates this performance to the composer of the song, who just passed away tragically because of COVID-19. Let's dig in. right there oh my goodness I had quite a few people say in in my last Dimash reaction to the song screaming you know you need to cut him some slack he's a young man he can try different musical styles and he doesn't always have to sing everything so difficult I agree with all of that totally but without a doubt this is where he shines the absolute best he's so able to connect emotion to the lyric and to the, the sound he's making. It's really just truly a gift. I feel like I say the same things about Dimash, but I don't apologize for that because he is exceptional. His talent is truly exceptional and this is already just so gorgeous, so touching. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it is so lovely. I'm thinking so much of my own teacher and mentor. I think that unless you've had a relationship like that, which I hope you have because it's so special to have a relationship with a teacher like this where you just, they mean so much to you. Um, <clears throat> and I know with things being the way they are, so many people can't really <clears throat> pay their respects the way they normally would. So I just think this tribute is just glorious, and I'm sure his family is so moved. <laughs> Well, 
one thing that's really interesting to me as well as I watch this is there's a maturity about Dimash in this video. Just He just looks older. He looks stricken by grief. I'm going to be a mess for this one, guys. I'm not sure I'm going to really have a whole lot, <laughs> a whole lot to say. got to stop there. Oh my heavens. Wow. Oh my gosh. I don't, I'd have to own this song. I'm even thinking I want to sing this song. It's so beautiful. Oh, I also want to know more about this composer. So please leave information in the comments below and educate me. I really am so moved by this and I'd love to know more about his music. I want to go and listen to it. It's got a very romantic flavor to it. When you think about classical music, that's kind of where I would put this particular song, certainly. And the pianist who is accompanying Dimash is just divine, incredible. I love the staging. I just feel like the whole thing is just so well done. <laughs> What a masterpiece. <laughs> Let's deconstruct this just a little bit more. I am really undone by this one. I love the way they had the lights in the, the audience. It seemed very fitting because I'm sure his music has touched a lot of people's lives. <laughs> Something that really strikes me about this piece of music is the exceptionally fine vocalist that Dimash is. I mean, yes, we say that in every Dimash video, but it's not just his huge range that he shows. What I really ultimately love about Dimash's voice is what's found in this song here. <laughs> The vocal control that he has, the tone qualities that he's able to pull out. <laughs> He 
He's just so exceptionally fine at what he does. And I feel like this piece shows that like none other. <laughs> When you have a piece of music like this that is just piano and voice, it really shows what you're made of as a vocalist. And adding to the fact that there's an incredible emotional load happening just on him as a person. I just feel like he is at his penultimate right now in this piece of music, without a doubt. <laughs> One of the things that this makes me think of is my own teacher, Lori Silvercasp. She passed away a couple of years ago, maybe even almost three years ago now. She was <clears throat> so important. What's so interesting about this and realizing is I never really let myself grieve her passing. I think this is the power of what music can do and it's certainly this particular piece of music, it connects us with our hearts. So this piece of music, that is what it did for me today. I try to be as honest as possible. I do not watch these things ahead of time. I was not expecting this response at all, but you know, it's really, really therapeutic. <laughs> My deepest condolences go out to Dimash and to the family, the friends, the students of this incredible teacher. I am so sorry for your loss. <laughs> That's it for me today. Like if you liked it, subscribe, and don't forget to share with someone you know needs to hear this gorgeous song. You can ask me any question about your voice in the comments down below on my blog at voicelove.co, on Instagram at the Voice Love Company, and now on wizio.com. Get all those details in the description box below. If you have a teacher or a mentor or somebody who has impacted your life greatly and they are still living, can I encourage you today to get in touch with them in some way? Write them an email, send them a text, give them a call on the phone. Tell them while they're still here what they mean to you and how they have impacted your life. 
keep finding your voice, keep making your sound in the world today. The world is waiting for what you and only you bring. And remember, you are loved. Bye-bye, guys.